Hello and welcome back. I need to fill a hole. No, not my stomach. This hole, I need to, a piece of threaded bar to go on the end of this lifting eye for project I'm doing. And I found the thread I need using this tap. It turns out it's an M20 with 2.5 pitch. So that is what I need to find on the Colchester lid. So let's have a go at setting up the Colchester for that thread. First of all, we need to select the thread type and we have a selection of English or metric on the Colchester a metric it is and just waggle that around that seems to be in so there we go, that's the metric now for 2.5, let's have a look on the chart 2.5 there and I need the gears setting up C and A at the moment it's at D and A so that's that done what else do we need to do now? Oh, we need to move this selector over to the corresponding all. That was easy. I think we're all set up, ready for screw cutting a 2.5 pitch metric thread. What I'll do now is reset the camera up and we'll have a go at cutting that thread. I just had a few goes and it wasn't too successful. I was using this. Every time it come around at two or three, I would engage the, the half nuts and would start threading. But every time I started threading, the thread was in a different place and it made a total mess of the workpiece. So I went back and read up and found out that on these early machines, they have an imperial lead screw, which unfortunately means when you switch it over to metric, this is absolutely no use whatsoever unless you have the metric gears for this, which I don't. So I'll have to go back to the traditional method of threading by going backwards and forwards. So we'll set that up and do that now. I've set up the screw cutting tip using the simple gauge for a 60 degree metric thread. All we have to do now is line the tool up, you can go 3000 thousands cuts I think for starters yes The secret of this is to stop it in time before it hits the chuck.
every time I'm, I'm advancing about five thousandths of an inch. That's me in the camera. Don't worry about that. There's not much room here. That should be something like that, it says. And it is. That's job done. So there you go. Well, there you go then. That wasn't too bad, was it? I thought all these levers were for hanging your coat up on when I first got in the lathe. I didn't know what the hell they did at all. But it works out. They've all got a job. And talking about jobs, here's the finished job. And it does indeed fit the toy and I. In fact, it fits like a stocking on a chicken's bottom lip. So there you go. That was a little bit of screw cutting on the Mark 1.5 Colchester lathe. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for viewing. And come again. Oh.